Uh, my name is Jason Matthews. My company is Matthews Financial Insurance Solutions. We're a short financial planning firm where we specialize in tax strategies and retirement planning. Uh, I've been doing retirement planning now since 2004 uh, with New York Life. Within that period, I was actually the youngest member of the Million Dollar Roundtable. And if anybody knows about financial advising, that puts you in the top 1% worldwide of all financial advisors throughout the world. So when you go to the media, you have people in Korea, Japan, Africa, Australia, we're top 1% of advisors. Uh, in 2009, I opened up my financial planning firm, and today we specialize in tax strategies and retirement planning. Okay? Uh, so today what we're talking about is about retirement planning and the keys to unlocking retirement planning. Now we all have different views on retirement planning or the essential of retirement planning. Some people might say it's a time for them where they don't have to work that permanent job they had before, but now they might have part-time. Or a pitch of another person retirement is it's a time for them to be just be on vacation where every day is a weekend, Monday through Sunday, every day is a weekend. But one of the keys to retirement is to know this. It's not about how much things is worth, it's about how much cash it puts in your pocket on a regular basis. Because even though we're not working, even though we're not generating income for ourselves, we still need to make sure the bills get paid, the lights still turn on every day, we still got food in our refrigerator, or we go out to eat to Denny's every Tuesday. Now there are five things that deflate retirement dreams. The, the five of them is one, not saving enough. Number two, sickness. Three is inflation. Four is investing too, uh, too risky. And the last is taxes. Now let's talk about not savings enough. As we all know, Americans lack savings. And now to, the great thing about the last couple of years since the Great Recession and almost the Depression is that we actually have increased our savings uh, balance and how much we actually save. And then recently, the Delta just said back in June that the average person 401k plan has drastically increased to $74,600. But the negative point of that is, though, is that not, that's still not enough for people to save. Because even so, the average income in America is still $43,000. So if the average American is 43, and the retirement is 76,000 is their 401k plan, how many years can you actually retire? And with that, we as an Asian society is living longer and longer because of advances of medicine. You know, if we retire today at age 65, we have a 50% chance of living at the age of 89 years old. So that's why we have to probably save enough. So the rule of thumb is we have to save 10 to 50% of our income for retirement. So the question is, if the average 401k plan balance is 74000 and the average income in America is 43000 how long can we survive in retirement? And the answer is less than two years. And if we just get count on our just our retirement, our 401k plan money and Social Security, will that be enough for us to survive? And the question is probably not. And how can we rely on Social Security when they say right now, statistically, that by 2025, Social Security is going to run out. So either we have to figure out either Social Security in the future is going to be modified or adjusted or not there by the time we retire. So the first thing is, as Americans, we have to learn how to bump up our retirement savings. 